Today, the statesman posted an article about a 40-year-old man who claims to have had oral sex with the senator three years ago at a Washington, D.C. train station. The man says he was sure it was Craig but had no evidence other than his word to prove it. The statesman had this information for months and even had Craig and his wife listen to the tape conversation in May. The statesman also said it spoke with two other men who claimed Craig made sexual advances towards them in 1967 and 1994 respectively. To its credit, the paper does note it investigated dozens of allegations that proved unverifiable. The paper says it began investigating Craig after a blogger accused him of homosexual sex, and today Craig said the paper has gone too far. Let me be clear. I am not gay. I never have been gay. Still, without a shred of truth or evidence to the contrary, the statesman has engaged in this witch hunt. In pleading guilty, I overreacted in Minneapolis because of the stress the Idaho statesman investigation and the rumors it has fueled all around Idaho. The paper did not have a comment when we called them. Instead, it said it's working on posting a rebuttal on its website. Reporting live, Janet OKXLY4.